on a scale of one to ten, how annoyed are you with me right I'm now? Not annoyed with you. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. So last night we were going to bed, getting ready to go to sleep for the night, and all of a sudden, me, Asher, and Ruben started not feeling so good. Just like a cold, like the typical sore throat, congestion, and then we just didn't feel good. What? You're not sick, I know. Emma's very proud of herself. Um, so today we were supposed to go on like a date night and I think we're gonna cancel it because I don't want the sitter to get sick, so kind of a bummer. You shouldn't be able to get sick when you're pregnant because there's like nothing you can take to make you feel better. And it's really not that bad. It's mostly just they have like, uh, what's it called? Like the mucus drip, which like ends up hurting your throat. The boys are handling it much better than me. What is that? Cheese. It's cheese? Robin, you don't have to put the whole thing in your mouth at once. That's not a good idea. I'm going to eat cheese. You're eating cheese, that's right. Anyways, if you guys keep up with me on Instagram, you would know that we had these four like pictures hanging on the wall. They were like really pretty dessert pictures that we had up. The boys and I were like walking down the hallway the other day and one of the frames fell off of the hallway and broke into four different pieces. So we couldn't fix it and I didn't want to order another one because I was kind of ready for something new. So I patched all of the holes. I took all the screws out, did all the anchors, and then I taped off the entire wall because I have no chill. And I decided we already owned this frame and it's just been sitting in storage and it's one of my most favorite like styles of frame and then I got this print on Etsy for three dollars and printed it and then I ordered another one of them so we'll have two of these and I'm gonna hang these up side by side right here and here and then I'm gonna do little like picture light sconce or something on the top and change it up however when they painted this house they painted the entire house in a flat white paint and it has been the most inconvenient thing for Justin and I because kids get I mean not even just kids but pets us if you touch the wall it gets dirty just flat white paint is not great so we're gonna switch it up we're gonna switch this wall to an eggshell paint color and we're gonna use honey milk which is the color that we used in here when we painted along this whole wall um, you can't really see it but it's like a creamy white color it's called honey milk and it's beautiful so I went to Lowe's yesterday I picked that up it's this um, Valspar is the, the brand for the color by the way if you're curious and I already taped up and everything so we should be good to paint this wall and just bring a little bit more light into this room so this is what I mean by like the flat white paint you can just like see oh, it's all blurry but you can see like dirt marks and stuff on it way too easily <laughs> So it's gonna be good. It's always good to have a little bit of change in the decor and change up the feel of the space. I'm really excited. I'm gonna see if I can get it done today even though I'm not feeling 100% because I, once I get my mind set on something, it's really hard for me to not just finish that task. Plus we don't have anything else going on. And by we, I mean I'm gonna try and convince Justin to do it because, you know. I love you. I love you. <laughs> On a scale of one to ten, how annoyed are you with me right now? I'm not annoyed with you. You and I are just different. Like, when I'm sick, I'm like, okay, like, I'm gonna take this time. You're like, I don't know, when you get sick, you're like, I wanna do everything and make it worse. And I'm like, Rochelle, like, chill, dude. But it's just a little bit of paint. Like, it's just this wall. I I'm that's sorry. What, that's what I'm doing. And the reason he has to do it is because I don't think I'm supposed to do it. So we have all the windows open. Well, this one, this paint we have says it's like a green paint, so it doesn't have a lot of chemicals anyways, which is good. But just to be safe, Justin's getting up close and personal with the paint instead of me. I love you. I love you. <laughs> nothing like painting when you're sick, and nothing Kanto in the background. Just like two things and just like... We have to keep the kids distracted, otherwise they'll run in here and try and touch all of the walls. 
that actually reminds me, I don't know, I think Justin remembers this, but when we were painting Emma's room, like the first time, we painted one of her walls in her bedroom before like the wallpaper, it was this pink color, and Bobo <laughs> came into the room while we were like almost finished up painting and just leaned straight up against one of the bedroom walls, and his whole, he's white on, well, that part of him is more gray, I guess, but the part that touched the paint like was just covered in like a pink, I don't remember, I think we took him to the groomer and they just had to like trim it off, but it it was, it was not fun, and the kids could probably do much more damage than Bobo, so we're trying to keep him in the living room. And trying to keep you out, huh? Are you trying to kiss him? Keep him. Bobo, kiss me! Oh, ah, I got you! Oh, I got you! Oh, what? Oh, oh! <laughs> Okay, it is finally done. We just put the outlets back on. It's kind of showing up darker on camera for some reason, but I'm really loving the color. I'm tempted to just kind of keep it going, but for now, we finished this. We also got up here where the blue was before, and then back over here. We have to do little cut-ins because Justin said he missed one tiny little spot. But other than that, I'm really happy with it. The paint here before, like I said, was flat, um, so you can really see it on this wall because this is the wall where the kids play a lot but it just, it gets dirty. So I'm so excited to finally have like an eggshell white in the dining room where food ends up. Plus, until the new frame comes in the mail, how perfect is this wall right here? This plain white now for taking pictures of the kids. Like it's the perfect spot to get a cute little photo of the kids if I want to, because it's just a plain white wall. And then once this comes in the mail, I'll hang them up and we should be kind of good to go. And then once those are up, I'm gonna order like picture lights to put either above them or on either side, depending on how the frames look. I'm so excited and I'm very thankful for my husband so thank you Justin for painting for me today <laughs> side note I also just got these in the mail me and my friend Beth um, who is the boys godmother are gonna do a little study together we got these from she reads truth I haven't done one of their studies before but I am so excited about this one I think it's like three weeks and we're gonna do it together I just got them in the mail today and they look so good it's about like anxiety and fear so it's perfect for me this is so weird like looking at how different it looks behind me now but while the boys nap I think I'm gonna take like either a nap or just kind of lay on the couch and rest so that I can recover because they really don't want to be sick that long. They don't like taking medicine when I'm pregnant unless I absolutely have to and I don't feel like I need it right now. It's just the sore throat and like the mucus. So I'm hoping that tomorrow I feel better. Maybe. I don't know. I feel like the first day is like an intro. Third day is the worst and then you get better. <laughs> Justin's also taking a nap because he got it like right after I did. So I'm just waiting for Emma to tell me she doesn't feel good. I hate being sick. I feel like we didn't get sick since COVID really and I'm, I've been so nice. I think November was when we got COVID and it's been so nice to not be sick. And then we got it again. So just crossing my fingers that this is a quick cold and it just goes. Okay, so since I am not feeling good tonight and honestly I feel worse tonight than I did earlier, I'm just gonna make this for us for dinner. It's this like family size Italian sausage that was in our fridge. So I'm gonna make that for us. I don't think Justin's gonna eat this because I'm pretty sure there's cheese in it. So he's having leftovers. And then I found this like green bean air fryer recipe. I think it was on TikTok a couple weeks ago where you like air fry them. They were really good and the kids actually loved them and ate all of their servings. So I'm making green beans to go with it. And a giant cup of lemon water to try and flush this out of my system. One of my biggest struggles when I get sick, especially when you're pregnant, is that I feel like my, I don't know how to explain this. My anxiety goes up when the house is like cluttered. And obviously when I'm not feeling good, the house is kind of a mess because I'm not staying on top of like cleaning it. So I feel like even when I am, like I feel like I'm constantly cleaning, but it's still messy because I don't have the energy or the bandwidth to really take care of it. So I feel like my anxiety is worse when I'm sick for multiple reasons. One, obviously just being sick while pregnant. And then two, the house is like a disaster right now, like an absolute disaster. Justin's being an angel and washing all of the dishes right now, which there was a lot of dishes. It sounds 
sounds dumb when I say it out loud, but like for some reason when like my space is a mess, it feels like my brain is a mess and it's like a big fog. I actually am hiring a like a cleaning team to come out. I think the first week, the first week of March, <laughs> the first week of March, something that I've done like a handful of times. I think the last time we had a cleaning team come out was when I was pregnant with the twins, which obviously was almost two years ago now, or it was two years ago when I had them come out. So it's been a really long time and I just want them to do the things that like I don't have the energy to do like the baseboards wipe down all the cabinets get off all the things in the places that like I can't reach or it just takes too much effort to like bend down and do it right now so I'm really really looking forward to that it's kind of like a splurge on myself because I know it's not like cheap and we don't get it done regularly so that it's usually more expensive because it's like a one-time clean which ends up costing more anyways when my anxiety gets pretty bad at night something that helps me is distracting my brain and that does not include being on my phone and being on my phone for some reason makes it worse. So my friend Lily got me this little embroidery kit for my birthday. I have yet to do it. I just haven't found the time. So I think tonight I'm going to start on this little embroidery kit and hope that it kind of eases my anxiety and eases my mind a little bit. I love the colors of these threads. They're so beautiful. Hopefully that helps. I still have to put a ton of laundry away and then our bed. I never even made it this morning, so this is a disaster as well. But I got my babies. Hi, my boys. Oh, my boys. I'm sad Justin and I have to miss our date night tonight because it was our first one that we've had in a while, but it's okay. We'll plan it again for hopefully in like a week or two. And thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll talk to you again hopefully when we're feeling better. Bye.